This is a tutorial on how to install Windows 8.1 from within Windows 7 and I'm not going to use neither a DVD to burn this ISO file to a DVD nor a USB stick. First I have to boot the computer from this ISO file and for that uh, I'm going to use EasyBCD okay let's go to add new entry go to ISO here at path this yellow icon browse to the ISO file and click open and add entry this is a short defragmentation okay and let's edit let's go to edit boot menu and here it is the rest of uh, the operating systems are already installed and this is the ISO file let's rename it Windows 8.1 and ISO press enter OK and the computer will boot from that ISO file this one OK but I can't install Windows itself from this ISO file I have to extract it for that I'm using power ISO and let's push the extract button and let's extract all files to let's say that path and click OK so I'm going to start the computer from this ISO file and after that I'm I will install Windows itself from this folder where the setup is uh, extracted okay so let's wait for this to finish extracting okay power iso has finished uncompressing the file the iso file now i have to restart the computer okay and this is the boot menu I have multiple operating systems here the last one is Windows 8.1 let's press enter on it press any key to boot from CD DVD okay and here at this screen I'm pressing shift F10 shift plus F10 and this command prompt window appears and I'm going to install Windows 8.1 into a VHD file that is a virtual hard drive okay first of all let's go to the C drive okay let's type here and see this is the 320 gigabyte hard drive no it's not this one I want let's type D and here again and win 8.1 kit is here okay let's go into that one CD win 8.1 kit okay and CD sources okay and from this directory I will install Windows 8.1 but first let's create the virtual hard drive for that type disk part disk part press enter wait a few seconds until it starts okay and let's see it's the d drive and let's install the vhd file into the vhd directory and for that let's type create v disk file equal and the path d VHD directory and let's give a file name win81 and from enterprise and v dot VHD the extension okay and type equal expandable expandable okay and the size maximum equal let's say 41,000 that's around 40 gigabytes okay and then press enter it was created successfully now press the up arrow key to call back the command go to the beginning with the home key and instead of create delete this one instead of create type select okay 
virtual disk, the path, it's ok, and we don't need the type and the maximum size, so we are going to delete that one, click ok, I mean enter, and now that the file is selected, let's attach, attach the disk, ok, and that's it, let's type exit, Ok, and in the sources directory we have to type setup and another setup starts and this one is running now from the extracted portion, not the ISO file itself. Let's make a test. Outpost tab it's working. This one, this is the old one. This one started from the ISO file if I'm clicking next and install. Install now. Ah, it won't work like this. Okay, let's let's close it and let's do this one. This one is starting from the ISO file, and I get this error: a media drive. Your computer it is missing, so it's not finding the uh, CD or DVD which is inserted, which is an ISO file in this case. Ok, let's close this window. Quit yes and go back to this window and type setup again. Ok, so the setup must be started from an extracted folder. Let's click next. I accept the terms. Click next. Custom down here. And here it is the unallocated space, the 40 gigabyte virtual hard drive that was created. Windows says that the windows can be installed onto this drive, but just ignore that error. Click next and windows is starting to install. And here it is, Windows 8.1, Windows 8.1 Enterprise, 64-bit, and the Windows is not activated yet. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. We are back in Windows 7 and if you don't like the newly installed Windows 8 you can go to the VHD file where the Windows was installed, in this case is this one and simply delete the VHD file. Do you want to permanently delete the file? Not yet. <laughs> Ok, but if you don't want it, you just delete the file and run EasyBCD and by going to edit boot menu and modifying this timeout value, let's say 5 seconds, you can simply restore the bootloader to the Windows 7 bootloader. Ok, I leave it here right now, let's restart the computer and see the new Windows 7 bootloader menu. And here it is, the newly restored Windows 7 bootloader. And of course, after deleting the VHD file of Windows 8.1, you can uh, delete this boot menu entry, this one, which says Windows 8.1. That's it, thank you, bye-bye.